Urunga, a small township with a population of 3,000 at the confluence of the Belinger and Kalang rivers in the far north coast of New South Wales. 65% are retirees. They enjoy the simple lifestyle, love the beautiful walks along the riverbanks and around the foreshores, relax with a little fishing, golf and bowls in a climate which is always mild in winter, not too hot in summer, and enjoy lots of sun and healthy salt air. In the language of the local Gumbainjar Aboriginal people, the word Urunga means long white sands. The township is perhaps most famous for its boardwalk. It is recognized as one of the best boardwalks on the New South Wales coast. It stretches for over a kilometer and provides views of the town, the banks of the Kalang and Belinja rivers, the ocean beyond the river mouth and views of the Great Dividing Range. At the mouth of the river, there are views of Milestone Spit and Pickett Hill. It is possible to see beyond Nambuka Heads. The boardwalk spans the mouth of the Urunga Lagoon, an estuarine wetland which provides habitat for mangroves, seagrass and salt marsh. The lagoon extends two kilometers south from the junction of the Kalang and Belinja rivers. It is about 200 meter wide and covers about 600 hectares. When the Belinja Valley was first settled by Europeans, the mouth of the Belinja and Kalang rivers was not fixed in its current position. The form of the landscape we see today suggests that the river mouth has moved over time and the Urunga Lagoon may have once been a main river channel. At that time, the entrance over the river bar was dangerous for shipping which transported timber from the valley to Sydney and supplied the growing community with goods and food. To lessen the danger to the vital shipping trade, work began on a series of training walls in 1890. This was completed in 1905. The aim of the walls was to fix the mouth of the river in one place and produce a deep water channel by the funneling effect of the narrow entrance. Rock for the wall was obtained from ship's ballast and later from a quarry on the Kalang River and shipped downstream on a punt. Despite the engineering works, ships continued to founder on the bar and the river mouths remained shallow and dangerous as sand shoals built up behind the walls. Regular dredging was required to keep the channel open. In its heyday between 1900 and 1915, over 20 different vessels used the facilities of Bellinger Heads. But the advent of the railway and deep water facilities at Coffs Harbour resulted in the decline of the shipping to the Bellinger. Dredging operations ceased in 1929. Now here's a bit of history. Prior to European settlement, the Urunga area was inhabited by Kumbanjar Aborigines. In early 1840, a stockman and two shipbuilders travelled northwards and discovered a new river north of the Nambuka. The land commissioner for the Maclay, Henry Oates, officially used Bellinger River in documents in 1840. In 1841, William Miles, a stockman from Kempsey, became the first European to explore the Bellinger Valley. The same year, the government surveyor Clement Hodgkinson recognized the richness of Cedar in the area. In 1842, the Northumberland crossed the bar at the site of modern-day Urunga. It did not proceed upstream, but it was the beginning of an active trade in Cedar with timber workers cutting the trees and waiting for the floods to carry them down to the river mouth. As the cutters cleared the land, farmers moved into the valley and grew maize and grazed dairy cattle. The first settlers arrived in the area around 1863. By 1868, a pilot station had been built at Urunga to assist sailing ships trying to cross the shallow and dangerous bar at the mouth of the river. At that time, Urunga was called Bellinger Heads. By 1872, there was a ferry or a punt service across the Kalang River. In 1880, steam tugs were introduced to facilitate a safe crossing for ships. Urunga Island was proclaimed an Aboriginal reserve in 1891. By 1892, the first training walls were being built to control the mouth of the river. The Valley of Urunga was proclaimed in 1894. In 1900, a breakwater was constructed to help shipping. 
in 1908, the first boardwalk, little more than a footbridge and basic footway was built so the pilot and local boatmen could gain access to the breakwall. The North Coast Railway Line reached the town in 1923. The Urunga Railway Station was opened in 1926 and a bridge across Bellinger River was opened in 1928. Dredging operations on the Bellinger River and at the river's bar were stopped in 1928. By 1933, the pilot station had been closed down after the tug, Repton, was wrecked on the breakwater. In 1940, the footbridge was replaced by a 1,200 feet long boardwalk. This Urunga boardwalk was upgraded in 1988, 1999 and 2006. The most recent extension was in 2010. In this small, quiet township, away from the rush of the Pacific Highway, there is a charming, old world, unhurried feeling about Urunga. And walking the boardwalk is an experience that takes one very close to paradise.